What's up guys, Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Today we're going to test the Boston Acoustics GT28 from around 2004. And guys, you might want to subscribe to the channel here. We've got lots of tests coming up. I've got amps stacked up to the ceiling almost to test. And you guys will want to see it because we have one new amp that we're going to give away. And yeah, you have to stay tuned to find out how you can win it. Somebody will have a nice Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever else you celebrate. So stay tuned. Big D Wiz getting ready to do an amp test from the OSS archives. Here we come, big boy! What's up, guys? Big D Wiz, old school stereo.com. Back once again. Today we're going to test. Uh, a little bit newer amp. This is a Boston Acoustics GT28. Let's take a look at the 2004 Car Audio and Electronics directory. You can see the GT28 right here, $1,000 MSRP, 250 by 2. And here's the dimensions, and also shows it's 2 ohm mono, 1 ohm stereo stable. And this amp was made in Italy by Moscone and I'm going to show you what we got going on here. We have a switch there for stereo and mono, subwoofer level control, crossover slope, whether low pass is off or on, we have input sensitivity also, high pass, off or on, we have the frequency and also the Q. Then we have the speaker terminals here accepts about 10 gauge wire and then we have dual um, it's really about six gauge because the eight gauge fit pretty good and I put some adapters on the outside so we get some four gauge get a little bit better connection and there's four 25 amp fuses so 100 amps worth of class AB fusing this amp is rated at 300 watts per channel I believe that's right. 300 watts per channel into four ohms. Um, and I'm gonna have to check the other ratings. I think it's 450 at two ohms or 900 watts bridged, but it's also stable at two ohms bridged. So we're gonna warm it up. We're gonna hook it up to the amp dyno here and we're gonna try it out and see what she does. All right guys, we got the Boston GT28 all warmed up on the amp dyno here, ready to uh, test it out. Just wanted to show you guys, here are the specs of the amp. I misstated before when I said 300 watts per channel uh, at four ohms. So we're gonna look at, um, we're gonna try to keep it as close to 14.4 as we can. We may drop a little bit on the two ohms mono, but we're looking for 500 watts at four ohms mono, 900, uh, I'm sorry, eight ohms mono. 900 at 4 ohms mono and 1350 at 2 ohms mono. So let's see what this bad boy can do. All right, here we have the Boston GT28. We're going to start off with a certified run at 8 ohms. And since this is a full channel amp, and we're going to assume that they did the numbers based on 1 kilohertz, we're going to run 1 kilohertz tracks. We may run a couple 40 hertz just to see what the difference is. Looking for 500 watts here to meet rated. Nice, 547 watts, 14.6 volts. Let's try a certified run at four ohms mono. Amp is rated to do 900 watts at 14.4 volts. Boston Acoustics GT28. All right, does its rated power 931 watts, 14.32 volts. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go uncertified at four ohms mono. See if it does any more than we got at 1%. This takes us up to clipping. Wow, amazing. 931, 14.32 volts. Exactly the same. Now we'll try dynamic at four ohms mono. Spec will get a little bit more than our 931. Nice, 
It keeps climbing. Look at that. One thousand five watts, four ohms, dynamically. Very nice. This amp's got some good dynamic power. All right, now let's do the old brutal test here on the Boston Acoustics GT28. We're gonna do the two ohm mono certified test. Let's see if we can beat that 1350 watts that it's rated at. Hopefully we can keep our voltage up. Yes we can and yes it does. Yeah boy. 1413 watts at 14.13 volts, two ohms mono, very, very nice. I just noticed that again, 1413 watts at 14.13 volts. Pretty cool, decimal points. Dewey Decimal System, my friends. Decimals, move your decimal over. You big dummy. All right guys, so here are the results. You can see, easily beat rated power at four ohms mono. Also two ohms mono, killed it, 1413 watts. So let's take a look at the guts of this Boston Acoustics GT28. Thanks to amp-performance.de. Check the link in the video description and I'll send you over to their page where they tested this amp. Nice design here. Lots of heat sink. You can see all the transistors across the back. Very nice looking amp, perform well. Appreciate you guys watching as always. Stay tuned for the giveaway coming up soon. Until next time, I'm out of here. Okay, now we're gonna go dynamic into two ohms mono. Wow. Impressive. 1550 watts, 13.85 volts. Very nice. Another question? Sure, I got one question for you. It's, can you deal with that?